Hello friends, welcome to our channel Rohit Tech. Today, I will tell you about FTP. FTP stand for File Transfer Protocol. FTP is used for the transfer of computer file from a server to client on a computer network. To install and configure FTP. I have installed Windows Server 2019 and Windows 10 in VMware. Server 2019 is our domain controller, SAR.local. Windows 10 is our domain client machine. Ok, let's install and configure FTP. Click Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Select Role Based and Feature Based Installation then click Next. Click Next. Click Web Server IIS. Then add feature. Click next. Click next. Click next. Drag down. Select FTP. Click next. Click restart the destination server automatically if required. Click on yes. Click install. Installation in progress, it will take some time to install. Web server IIS and FTP installed successfully. Click on close. Click tools. Click internet information services IIS. Expand server. Expand sites. Right click on sites. Click add FTP site. Fill FTP site name. In my case I am keeping the test name. You can also name something else. Click on 3 dot and select FTP root directory path. Expand C drive. Expand inetpub. Select FTP root. Click on OK. Click Next. Under Binding option, select IP address. We don't have any SSL certificate. So we can select no SSL. Click Next. Select, Anonymous under Authentication. Allow access to, now we can select anonymous user. Under permissions, I am going to assign red permission. This means we are going with anonymous authentication. Because everyone user can access our FTP site with read permission. Click on finish. As you can see, our FTP site is created successfully and listed ID number 2. Minimize IIS console. Open file explorer. Click on this PC. Open C drive. Open inetpub folder. Open FTP root folder. Let's put some data on this FTP root folder. Open this PC. Open C drive. I have some basic software setup files in software folder. I will copy and paste them into the FTP root folder. Everything is pasted into my FTP root folder. Now I am create a new user. Right click on Windows logo and select Windows PowerShell admin. Type, net. Space user. Space username. Space password. Space slash at, then press enter. Our new user is created. Close PowerShell. Go to client machine. Press Ctrl Alt Delete. Click Other User. Log on as Domain User, Amit.
Open File Explorer. OK, now let's access FTP site. Type FTP URL, FTP colon double slash 10.0.0.1. Then press Enter. Let's copy all software in FTP site. Minimize site, create new folder on desktop and paste then in this folder. As you can see, user able to copy data from our FTP site, it means our FTP service is working fine. Now go back to FTP site. Now I will try to create new directory in FTP site. As you can see, it will showing error because we have a sign read only permission on our FTP site. That's why user is not able to create any file and folder. User can only copy data on FTP site and paste them our local computer. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.